This is Chrome OS Flex. So let's start exploring in this video. I'll be talking about what are the features, what are the caveats of this operating system and what are my opinions about the future of Chrome OS. Starting from settings, there we can connect to a Wi-Fi network easily from here. Also there's the feature of Android's nearby share to easily connect and share files between your Android devices and your Chromebook. Now much of the Android goodness can be expected in Chrome OS Flex in the coming years. Well you need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for that but unfortunately my desktop does not have Wi-Fi yet so I can't use it. Also it allows you to change the mouse speed if you want. Let me turn off nearby share and from devices you can select mouse to change the mouse speed. You can make it slow or fast or turn on reverse scrolling there. Also from keyboard you can change the keys and change them according to your requirement. For personalization it is quite limited and the maximum you can do is change the wallpaper or just turn on screensaver. If you go to screensaver and turn it on, you can select the background of the screensaver from here. Also you can enable or disable Google Assistant if required from here. So there's screen context, you can get responses that is tailored according to what is there on the screen. And here I don't get that menu uh, thing that is there, that is kind of inspired by Windows. Instead I'm getting the normal menu that appears in Chrome OS. But after a restart everything seems to work fine. Now Cloud Ready is not much capable with itself, I mean the Chrome OS Flex and, and it is shipped with Linux that makes it better. So you can also install Linux if you want and you can run Linux apps on Chrome OS itself which will come handy for developers too. I could not install Linux here since there is a space shortage but you can try installing. There are also other options like accessibility, basically offering text to speech and high contrast modes. There is text to speech, you can change the rate, pitch and everything from there. Now I did a quick restart so that the menu appears there and from here in the menu you can see that there are several apps that are provided that uh, are provided and most of them yes they are the web apps and there is gmail google meet docs slides sheets especially the replacement of microsoft's office suit you can get messages on your chromebook also by simply scanning the qr code you can view or send messages from your phone The file manager, I have always faced problems with the file manager on Google's file that is provided by Google, even on Android actually. The stacked folders, the interface there, that is the stacked folders that they show, instead of the one that is shown in Linux or Windows, that is the icon version. It is very difficult and uncomfortable for me to use. Well, it is before when you start using, but slowly and surely it becomes more you become more habituated to that and everything becomes feels to be like home. Another thing that I noticed is that instead of showing the partitions itself of the drive that you're connecting, it's showing the drive and inside as a drop down menu you are able to see the partition. Well there is also the Chrome Canvas app 
Chromebooks generally come with a touch screen, right? You can bring out your talent here by drawing just like me, how I created this masterpiece. It also comes allows you to change to any different color and also several pens are provided and an eraser of course. Also you can change the layers from there. Let me just delete my masterpiece and now you can close the canvas. Also, there is the presence of Google Chat that you can use. So this is how the interface looks inside Google Chat. It's probably kind of like Microsoft Teams. I don't know. I've never used that before. The taskbar is kind of uh, the taskbar kind of thing that is there, which they term shelf can be changed to different locations like bottom left or to the right. Now, there is also a firmware update center that is present, which helps update your Chromebook. There we have a firmware update center so you can just update your chromebook from here and yes it also provides it with a simple text editor well what i think about chrome os is that google has done a pretty well job with this and i understand it is faster than most other operating systems it boots up in few seconds okay 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 but what is the purpose of chrome os right it is to bring back life to old laptops and desktops mainly to be used for entertainment purposes but more than old heavy fat boys running hot phones are used for that purpose mainly right and chromebooks personally i would use for coding probably but the absence of dark mode really strains the eyes i get it you have themes for chrome but i think the implementation should be done in the operating system also i did find the notification center also there which i forgot mentioning and the action center which is definitely which inspires windows 11 very much by this design because windows 10 was having a different design and the one on windows 11 is yes they have completely copied from chrome os so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i hope you get an idea about how chrome os is and that's it what do you think about the future of chrome os flex will it be useful well if they include android apps obviously there would be that whole bunch of apps they can use from android play store in their laptops but i think that what chrome o has done it is kind of unfinished uh, piece of software uh, mainly talking about the theming part so the whole entire shelf and the start menu is in dark mode and the apps that you're opening they are in light mode so it really creates a kind of strain in the eyes when you're just using apps in dark mode all the time so instead they could just make dark mode default and do all the apps there instead of keeping this twilight theme i'm personally not a very much fan of the twilight theme. thank you so much do tell me again what do you feel about the chrome os in the comment section thanks a ton for watching this video i'll catch you in the next one